Okay, let's give this a demonstration and see if this works. Uh, this is a Hacker RP, whatever it is, 30, uh, working radio. We've got the the, uh, the detector uh, engaged, so it's running through the diodes for de detection. So we'll want start for the front end of this radio and see if we can hear any audio. I can hear audio there, I don't know if you can hear that. Very faint. Try on the other side, this resistor. Try this diode here. Turn the volume up a bit, I'll turn the volume down just now. Try again. Okay, you can hear the radio. So that's working, that's, bear in mind that's the f just past the first IF. Move up to the first trans second uh, IF amplifier. Collector. Working well, and then we'll go on to it. Can go on to the final IF amplifier. I'm going to have to turn the volume down because obviously the IF amplifier is working. So we're going to get a big. We can hear how loud that is. That's deafening. So that works really well as an RF detection. Um, it's going to work fine for fault finding radios. There is a bit of a thump when I connect it up, so I think I'm going to have to put that decoupling capacitor down to, I don't know, a one nan or something like that uh, because it's quite a a thump when I switch it on and what I'm worried about is if I go across a higher voltage line that I might blow the amplifier up which I don't really want to do um, so it works it's a, it's going to be quite useful for fault finding and signal tracing and of course it's, uh, it's also got the uh, the AF detection circuit now I've got the speaker disconnected at the moment but this is the output of the amplifier so I'm going to turn the volume right down so that's right it's going to be obviously amplified output and you can hear it that's with the detector in you can take the detector out it works absolutely fine um, and yeah as I say it's going to be a useful little bit of kit for probably tracing faults uh, thanks for watching and more to come